Well, hell fired is rock the riff, and I am back for another metalhead envy. And back with some more porcupine tree. I don't think I know how to pronounce this track title. And this the thighs. And this the ties. Is that how you say it? I don't think I'm right. I think my pronunciation. Uh, my pronunciations are terrible. If you if you don't think those are bad, you should hear me try to pronounce half the ghost tracks that I've checked out. <laughs> but uh, I talked to my drummer after. Is it John the Beloved was the one that made me or made me suggested uh, for me to check out Hate Song and uh, one other, and I talked to my drummer about. Uh, porcupine tree and he was like yo he's like you gotta check out uh anesthetize anesthetize i'm gonna say anesthetize i don't i don't think that's right yeah y'all are gonna pick on me for how i pronounce that no i'm sorry leave me a comment let me know exactly how to pronounce it but uh when i talked to him and i said i'd finally started I'm starting to go down the porcup a porcupine tree rabbit hole. He goes, yeah. Uh, he goes, any porcupine tree fan worth their salt, uh, Nistathias is the one. And I did get a few comments, and everybody was saying, make sure I check out the live version in Tilburg. So hopefully this is the right version. And this is definitely going to be a long reaction. So hopefully y'all stick around to the end and enjoy me uh, reviewing. This. Let's dive on in. Okay. I like the camera work right there. We are already pausing. I like that camera shot. I'll definitely... Next playthrough or next music video I get to shoot for my band. These would be this would be camera shots I'll keep in mind. Did he not have any shoes on? Hell no. How you gonna walk the stage with no fucking shoes on? Unless that's like you're the only performers and they clean that damn floor, stage floor. I don't know. I don't think I could do that shit. <laughs> I gotta at least have a pair of Crocs or something on. Hell fire. Digging this build up. This, once again, is another act and another song I'm hearing 
that all I can think about is like, fuck, why can't I find a keyboard as synth player? Basically, what this cat is doing for my whole band. It's like, it just helps with the atmosphere and everything that's going on. Of course, we don't have a singer. So that's definitely an element that would be awesome too. But I, it's it's funny. I like the uh, the instrumentation going on more uh, than the vocals. But I say that, and so far the vocal performance is really good. Like I'm kind of like, if I wasn't on camera and here on YouTube, and I didn't have to pause every so often just uh, because of copyright. Uh, <coughs> Because of that kind of stuff, I could sit here and zone out on this song so fucking hardcore. Especially like Hit the J or Toko Bowl. I would be like zoned on this shit right now. I'm, I'm in this build up is fantastic. It's that synth work right there. I like that wobbliness. That is a cool vocal harmony. I want to back up a hair because that just like gave that so much more power. That worked out perfectly. the damn drummer right now to save my fucking life. Because this dude's uh, so I know that one, one main guy, Stephen Wilson. I knew his name was a Stephen or a Stephen. I just couldn't remember exactly where I had seen him at and my guitarist I worked with in my band he told me he was like yeah man that's Steven Wilson he's uh like I've seen him in magazine covers or stuff like that but what was the name of the drummer again Gavin Harrison that dude's I am digging what he is doing with the drums no wonder my drummer I work with really likes this guy because even though this is a very spacey section uh the drummer is doing very interesting work i mean all i can compare this to is like a tool kind of thing so what's that drummer's name danny danny carey or something like that but i know that dude tends to do a lot of time work stuff going on too so i'm digging I'm not the biggest Tool fan, but Tool does have some, their old stuff, they have some killer old tracks and stuff like that. 
But uh, I am digging. Damn wind blowing outside. I am digging what Gavin Harrison is doing so far for this. Damn, we're only three minutes and two seconds in. <laughs> oh me, I hope I hope people can tolerate me sitting here pausing and running my mouth. Yeah, that was evil. Man, put some shoes on though. Damn, dude. Okay. They've had the throwdown. <laughs> I love that section. Oh, I... If for anybody that's uh, watched me check out Epica and other certain other acts, uh, I am a big fan of that Arabic style uh, harmony scale. Uh, I'm not exactly. I need to like learn the actual terms of this of this stuff. Uh, I'm just not. I'm not that smart, so. Uh, I normally just say what I think I, is the right way to say it. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, the the Arabic melody th thing, if I can talk, the Arabic melody that was going through all that right there is just killer. Killer, 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 killer. I don't know why it fascinates me so much, but it just tickles my... Uh, music funny bone and uh that was killer but now just by looking at the actual wave file that's here on youtube i guess we're getting into the heavy part of the song let's roll <laughs> who's playing that though is that a back of track? That dude's over there changing his tuning.
Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. This is what I want to hear. But I was just, all I could think was like, dang on, how many keyboards and shit is on this stage? <laughs> you got this main dude here with two or three or four. Then Steven Wilson has his own. They got, there's so many elements in this, man. And just speaking from experience, the most I've had in one band right now was four. And uh, we, our bass player, unfortunately, couldn't continue with us. So now we're we're performing live as a three piece, two guitars and one guitar, or two guitars and one guitar, two guitars and one one drum, and a drummer. <laughs> so I see this. And it's like eight dudes, twenty different types of instruments. I'm just like. That would be so much fun. All I could think is like 10 years ago when all I did was play guitar and smoke weed, I would be writing this kind of stuff. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Oh. Sneezed. All right. Let's get into this heavy section. Digging the darkness of this. I was actually just doing a song before I started this one, and it was very major key. And I digged it. That song is, I think it's going to grow on me with time. But this is, this is my bread and butter. I like minor key stuff. going on that much so you got gavin harrison's percussion along with that uh is that like a rolling synth is that what those are called like i've i've fucked around with it before basically you got a keyboard in front of you and you can put on a certain effect and all you do is hold one key and it like it does that kind of thing But, uh, 
shout out all the musicians in this right now are just so on fucking point. Damn, man. This is a killer, killer, killer track so far. We're lost in the moon, shuffling through the stars like zombies. What is the point? What can I buy? My hands are. So I do have to correct, I thought there was more people on stage, but now I'm just sitting here counting. And I am a dumbass. There's only uh, five. <laughs> I thought there was way more going on, but there is a lot of equipment. Really, I have never experienced a stage like this, personally. Every stage I've played on has uh, been very, very small. So having this much room to work, I'm very, very envious of. I think the most space I've ever had for my band's live performance was uh, we did a barbecue benefit a while back. And it was cool as hell. They put two rollbacks. They, in the backyard, they rolled two rollbacks side by side like that. That shit was fun. But in our case, we don't have this much gear. We got... Literally, I have a 2x12 cab with a mini head. My other guitarist has a 2x12 cab with a full-size head. And then the drummer has a, uh, I think his kit's a 7-piece kit. But uh, back to the song, because I am zoning so hard. I hope that uh, I am allowed to actually post this. Because I feel like... This is a lot of, this is a this is a big song to digest. And I'm still where I'm at now, I still don't understand exactly how YouTube decides whether or not you can post certain things. Cause I've seen other people post songs that I tried to check out myself, couldn't couldn't post. I don't know how it works, but I really, really hope YouTube does not block this one. This song is fucking awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hell yeah! this song I'm curious do 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 sorry y'all I gotta look this shit up cause I have a statement but I wanna make sure I don't sound like an idiot So this song came out in 2007. There is a band that I love. Probably my favorite prog metal band is called Haken. And now hearing this, and as much as I listen to Haken, hearing this, if Porcupine Tree isn't one of their bigger influences, call me crazy. Because... There's certain elements that goes on in this that I hear in Haken a lot. But yeah, this is this is very, very, very slick. This is a journey, and I dig it. This is one fantastic musical journey. a pause for sure especially the Gavin I do I do feel like the drummer is putting in the most work that dude is going ham he's good though build me up with this alarm That's a good harmony, too. I'm not laughing at it in the sense that it's terrible. It just caught me off guard. I did not expect that. I dig this space out. It blends so well with that keyboard.
really, I'm sitting here going, asking myself the question, how many acts do I love and adore nowadays that draw major influence from this band? I'm hearing like so many elements of what I dig myself. It's just like that. Excuse me. Uh, that this whole transition, this whole bleeding thing where everything stopped, but you still had that keyboard synth sound continuing the momentum. And I have, we've been, my own band, we've been working on this one track. And we've actually, we made some progress in the past couple of weeks. We've been working on it for a while. Made some major progress in the past couple of weeks. But we got to a, another hurdle for myself. And I just cannot figure out how to keep the momentum but bleed into something in this this wheelhouse here. And now all I can think is like I've got to figure out a way to have something do what the keyboard just did. Where everything simmered down but that that sound effect just kept rolling and kept everybody in it. Didn't sound like the song ended. It just sounded like we just hit the next chapter of the story. But uh, that's just the thought I had when I heard this. If I focus strictly on the song, man, I'm like, I'm fighting every urge I have to not have to hit this pause button and, uh, talk because i just want to zone so bad on this song i definitely will be zoning out on this track off camera riding around town running errands the water so warm that day i was counting As they broke on the shoreline, I could see you, but I couldn't hear you. You were holding your head in the breeze, turning away from me in this moment. You were stolen, this black across the sun. I gotta shout out Gavin Harrison. This dude is such a fucking awesome drummer. And it's like, I speak from a place where I actually work with a fantastic drummer. And he's grown to be one of my closest friends, a brother, basically. And of course, I have moments that I'm so fucking aggravated with him. But then there's moments that I'm so proud of him and everything. But now I have like a special place in my heart for when I hear drummers that are just, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know how you word it because you could do less in this section. You don't have to go ham the whole time in this track. But the fact is to me, it doesn't sound like it's overboard. It doesn't sound like it doesn't fit the track. Like I haven't heard a drum feel yet that I don't feel like just adds that extra little bit of sugar to the track, salt to the track, whatever fucking spice that uh, appeals to your taste buds. It's just, it's just fantastic. This dude is so fucking good. I would love to write a track with Gavin Harrison. You are badass as hell, dude. Uh -huh.
This other singer from the guitarist is good too. He's hitting them high notes pretty damn good. track and a half right there thank you hmm. that was a track and a half oh what the hell okay i like that if I can find any cooler still images. Oh, me. From, yeah, from the beginning to the ending, there is no elements in this song that I am not 100% behind. I do have to say, I think the drums for this band is so far what's sticking out to me the most. I think Gavin Harrison is fucking sick nasty. <laughs> that dude is one hell of a drummer. Oh man, I am digging everything that's going on. Uh, the keyboards too. I really dig it. The only thing, when I watch the keyboard player, he doesn't look like he's having fun. He looks like he's like setting the dials on a bomb or some shit. Sitting there doing the twists and turns and that. Make sure all this is cool. And I know what he is doing is very important because that's part of, like I was saying a little earlier, that guy keeps the momentum of this track moving forward the whole time. Like I, I didn't realize how important that was. I mean, that's a that's a big statement. I know it's important, but like for this track in particular, for me, it's it's helping me like I guess where I play in an instrumental prog metal band. I'm also analyzing this track in the sense of like what does Porcupine Tree have uh that I could draw influence from to help me write better in myself. And, uh, like that keyboard and even if it's not a keyboard, something in the song, even though if everything else simmers down, something, one element in the track needs to be st still rolling forward to keep everything going. And it works, man. It, it's, I know a lot of people are not going to listen to a 17 minute and 31 second track. I do think those people that see the time length of this track and they're like, that's too much. You're missing out. You are missing out on some fantastic music because it's like me. One of my favorite songs, Riptile by Periphery is like 16 minutes. One of the one hell of a fucking song, but I couldn't tell you how many of my friends that are into metal will not listen to that song because of the length. They don't, they can't take 16 minutes out of, a, out of their day to let the song ride and uh, and enjoy it. I don't understand that. Like, uh, I get life is short, and I'm always on the go myself, but still, 16 fucking minutes. I mean, half the drives I make, I live 18 minutes out of town. I can listen to that song starting from my driveway 
to uh, make it in town. I mean, I'm not going to get riled up on talking shit about that kind of stuff. Porcupine Tree, I have to learn how to pronounce this name. And Anesthetize the is a... I definitely give this eight horns for sure. I think where I'm a big Haken fan and Haken can take this same vibe and the guitars are doing a lot more crazier stuff. I enjoy that a bit more that I guess that would be the only thing I could say about this track is I do feel like as a guitarist, I want to hear the guitars do more than what they did. But what they did is fucking fantastic. There is no, like, it's good. I just want more of it, I guess, is the best way I can say it. It's a chocolate chip cookie, but I want the whole box of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> if that makes any fucking sense. I don't know. I'm about half stupid. Uh, this was good. And I think this will be definitely my longest reaction to date. So we'll have to see. I hope people enjoy it. I'm sitting here talking about uh, a 17 minute song is not too long. I wonder if a 42 minute uh, review or reaction is too long for people. <laughs> but if you end up seeing this for the first time, this is your first time here on the channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me some pros and cons. I am trying to get better at doing YouTube every day. And, uh, yeah, that was fucking awesome. Y'all let me know some more Porcupine Tree songs to check out. And uh, stay positive, stay rocking, and I will catch y'all in the next one.